bread, milk, tea. I still have no idea what that word is. What kind of convenience store sells herbs? Then again, nothing about this town seems normal, which may not be such a bad thing in retrospect. Everything is so different and uncomfortable, dwelling on such matters isn't really an option. When I think about it, it reminds me of Hanako. No matter how much you try, you can't escape her scars. They still interrupt my train of thought when I see them. As much as I don't want to admit it myself, I think I'm forcing myself to try and ignore them. Not that I'm scar-free myself, the jugger lying down my sternum will never completely fade away. I just have the luxury of being able to hide it easily. But uh, in my way, both of our scars remind me that we're all in this place for a reason. Da da da. Hanako throws one last item into a basket, then sheepishly hides it, hide, holds it out to me, along with a few blank notes. Here. It takes a second to understand what she's trying to say. Oh, you want me to pay for this? She nods, then doesn't look up. I guess that task falls to Lily on a usual occasion. Sure, let me grab a couple things. Hastily, I grab a few essential items for myself and head for the counter with Hanako in close tow. The attendant gives me an indifferent nod as he scans the items. I suppose just ignoring us in a way to deal with the anomalies of Hanako, Yamako. Ugh. They must get a lot of students here, being the close to the school. The staff must have all had their own way to dealing us, or maybe they don't. Maybe it's just un only me who thinks twice about the unique schoolmates. Our transaction complete, Hanako and I head back in onto the street. Man, I still suck at reading this stuff. Out loud, anyway. It's a lot easier to read in your head than it is out loud. The road is pretty much abandoned now. The students that were heading out have already left and nobody has started returning just yet. And with the only and with only the school ahead of the road, there doesn't seem to be anyone else around. The emptiness certainly reflects on Hanako, her arms by her sides, with each carrying a bag, her head no longer bowed, and back to the right up position. Upright. It's almost as if she's were enjoying this walk. So why all the weird things, mixed spices? Why would you need that in a school? I sometimes like to make food. Well, yeah, so do I, but spices? That's a little more advanced, don't you think? Not really? Well, I think it's cool. You have to teach me one day. Sure. She seems... She doesn't seem all that sure, but pushing the point doesn't seem all that wise. At the very least, she seems a great deal happier than she did on the walk down here. That alone makes me a little happier. Outside the school, the, do the girls' dorm, Hanako and I sort out the grocery bags with our respective purchases. In comparison, my things look positively plain. I tell you, you're putting me to shame here. No, I'm not. I'm just... I'm only joking. I have a stack of homework that I skipped last week, so I must leave now. Will you be right getting to your room? Yeah. Sure? Okay then, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. We walk, we part ways, and I return to my room. Piles of paper sit upon my desk, begging to be completed. With the entire ruckus of the last week, I barely had any time to catch up. I tried to keep up with the studies while I was in the hospital, but some of this stuff I've never seen before, even back in my old school. Totally unprepared, I pop the top of the can of a drink and get to work. And the screen goes black. Passage of time. The days are really starting to heat up. This morning I woke covered in sweat. By the time the student body starts leaving their dorms for breakfast and morning duties, the sun has taken full effect. Only that puts me in high spirits. I don't like the heat. I'd rather it be cold and raining all the time. It's not even eight, yet I feel the day is is going to be one of those pleasant, tranquil, warm ones. If I weren't at school, that, considering every absence from class is a sign of life-threatening situation, I'd consider skipping the whole day, just relaxing in the school gardens. 
Yes, today will be genuinely lazy day. For a second I stop in mid-stretch and consider the nurse's warning about exercise. Maybe I should have kept up those morning jogs. Running with someone like Lily might have been a little testing, but if I work at my own pace... Ah, who am I kidding? I couldn't stick to something like that without some kind of motivation. It's not like I sit around all day. The walk to and from the convenience store counts as exercise, right? Especially the walk up a hill. Yeah, it's too big a deal. Compared to months laying in a hospital bed, I'm getting plenty of exercise. It seems that I'm not alone in my appreciation of the day. Nearly every member of the class is glancing through the window and into the tranquil spies. Ten to lies in the sky. Even the steadfast Shizun seems to lack her usual vigor for schoolwork. Misha, as brazen as ever, has even unbuttoned top buttons yet. Has even unbuttoned the top buttons of her shirt and is fanning herself with a notebook. Ha! I must have been staring as she's now sticking her tongue out at me. However, she shows no sign of halting her efforts, nor is she trying to hide the facts. The lunch bell seems to catch everyone by surprise, and the class empties as much slower the pace than usual. The heat seems to be draining the need to rush from everyone. Well, almost everyone. The Sal. Hey there, Hanako. What can I do for you today? Hanako already has a lunch bag in hand. I don't have to be a detective to work out where this is going. Um, would you like to eat lunch with us again? I brought enough for everyone. Awesome, you don't have to go to... You don't have to be so stiff about it, though. Ah, right. I take it we're going to the tea room. Please. Lily said she'll meet us there, so we should... Should... Uh, should... Should go together. That's a lot of shoulds. Sounds like a plan. This heat has made me pretty hungry. Hanako breathes a sigh of relief, and I gather my things... Together. As usual, the aria of the tea room is refreshing, feeling isolated from the rest of the world. Then again, the usual din of the school seems to be a bit subdued, most likely from the laziness promoted by the heat. Hanako slightly spreads her food on the table, intently focusing with every little movement as if she's trying to keep her mind off the other thoughts. It's not much, but I can tell her from her demeanor that she has prepared everything with utmost care. I guess Lily isn't here yet. Should we start without her? She'll be here soon. Hanako struggles with the lid of a container of rice. Here, let me help you with that. I take the container from Hanako's, tra Hanako's hands and try to force open the lid. Try as I might, it seems wedged shut. Let me guess, did you put this in while the rice was still hot? Yes, I was in a rush. I put the container on the table between us. I thought so. It looks like this is wedged shut. We might need some hot water to get it open. But that could be a pain in here. We'd get water everywhere. Well, in that case, how about I contribute to today's meal? At the door, Lily see smiles while holding up a bag stocked with various buns and bread rolls. I can't help but do the same. Since you two had changed the plans because of me, I thought I would bring a little something. Thanks, Lily. Here, let me get that for you. With a little guidance, Lily's bread assortment joins Hanako's riceless platter, and I hastily make some tea to complete the pitcher. Well, I'm looking forward to this. As I take a bite, I notice Hanako trying her hardest not to look at like she is looking at me. It's nothing special, but then again, I can't really complain. It's pretty lazy when it comes to cooking for myself. Not bad, I guess it's you made with the stuff we bought yesterday. Yes. Hanako's eyes shout at me, begging for some kind of feedback. Well, it was certainly worth it. Thanks, Hanako. I wanted to show you this after yesterday. It's okay, I was just a little surprised at the stuff you were buying. Hanako has always liked to experiment when it comes to food. I think it's good. Most of the time. While Lily's smile doesn't waver, the slight change in her tone tells me that things have not gone so well in the past. And it's not like, Hanuk it's not like Hanako has many people to sample her cooking. Hang on, was Lily waiting for me to go first? She didn't start eating until after I said it was alright. Her cheeky grin tells me that this was a deliberate action on her part. I'll have to try and work out how to get a, get one over on her in the future to make up for this.